hair is almost back to a manageable length. But it's long enough to get bedhead still. I think I need another haircut. Hello there, and welcome back to yet another vlog. I'm on a roll here, posting consistently. We got doing some shorts, I'm working on, we're playing around with shorts and seeing what the algorithm does and what analytics say. And it's a whole new world on YouTube, man. We're here in the kids' bathroom because last week um, Sierra was given Shelly her tortoise. Yes, she still has Shelly the tortoise. She was giving her a bath and uh, she pooped in the water. And then she couldn't get the little stopper up and she was freaking out because like she couldn't get it up and the water was nasty and there was poop in there and stuff like that. So I had to like come in up here and help her. Anyway, we ended up just unscrewing the, the stopper because for whatever reason it was stuck. So I un 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 unscrewed it and neither one of the kids thought to put it back down. So anyway, I'm gonna fix their tub here in a second. For those who ask on a frequent basis, there's Shelly. She's doing great. She's kind of stunted on her growth because, well, the aquariums, she's, she's re reached her capacity when you get a bigger bigger aquarium or bigger table or something. But that'll come when Sierra figures out what she's doing. Yeah, this is the aquarium we bought her, I don't know, was it four years ago? Five years ago? I, I lost how old she is now. But, yep, she's doing fine, just doing tortoise things, you know? Looks like she needs some water. Last update on Sierra's room was when she moved her bed and hung up all the, her paintings. Those are all paintings that Sierra's done over the years. And then she's got a little Garen corner over here with my, that was my beanbag that I got for Christmas and I just didn't really have any place for it. And so Sierra ended up taking it and now she just puts crap on it. But yeah, anyway, we thought about doing like a tortoise table, right? Building a tortoise table or buying one and putting it in here. But then Sierra's kind of like, uh, I don't know if I want that. I'm like, oh, no, no. Uh, I don't. No, this is the way it goes. Like it looks like it's sealed. It goes down and then it clicks when I go up. But I was asking Bryce if he remembered. I thought this was supposed to be like a spin and then it drops. But we don't have this in our bathroom, so I don't know. Maybe this is a different stopper. But it seems like it's working. It won't go. It won't tighten up anymore, and it just free spins now. So I guess that's it. We're good to go. It's turning into one of those days where it's house cleaning, house organizing. Start. You don't stop. Stuff yep. that it's literally what I was just telling Bryce upstairs in his room. It's like we're, we're in go 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 mood all the time that we just never stop to go. Oh wait, you know what? That's piled up for long enough. All right. So for context, I was just having a conversation with Bryce about cleaning the bathrooms, and then we came into his room, and I kind of started pointing some stuff out because I've, I'm in in this mode in my brain right now with my stuff, and we'll go downstairs in a minute. But this is what I was talking about with Bryce. So this is his room, right? All his shoes are kind of lined out here because his closet is full. He's got his hamper, he's got this like little dresser thing, and then a bunch of blankets and pillows and I don't know what stuffed in there, right? So he's got no closet space, right? And then he's got basketball bag, the two extra pillows when he makes his bed that he never uses, boxes and stuff, right? And I was like, this is just clutter, bro. Like, it's just so much clutter. Like, put stuff away, get rid of stuff. Like, he's got stuff up here that's just like shoved up here. I'm like, you clearly don't care about this stuff. Let's get rid of it. Let's donate it, let's sell it. There's money to be made, right? And I mean, technically, I guess Sierra's is kind of the same way. Like I said, there's a bunch of stuff that's piled on the, the there. Her art stuff's there. Bags and just stuff just kind of accumulates in the corners, right? We're all guilty of this. And when I say all of us, I mean all of us. We're all guilty of it. Stuff just accumulates in all the little spaces. These are old boxes. That was back from September, October, when her Crimson Vow came out. I think it was, yeah, I'm not even sure when that came out, but yeah. And then that's, that's the last shipment of G Fuel that I got before I left them. Got some hint water that I need to put in the fridge. And then yeah, just stuff just, I don't know, because I, I don't have a closet in here, right? So my stuff just gets whatever, but like, yeah. Like I said, we're all guilty of it. So that's where I'm at right now, is I'm in that mode of like, I want to do that with my room. I want to go through and get all of this stuff off the floor, get all these boxes off the floor, put everything away, um, throw away junk, make a donation pile for Goodwill, uh, if there's anything that I can sell on eBay, I'm getting ready to start doing some flipping, Gary V style. I just got a lot of stuff, guys. I've got electronics and old equipment, and I have so much stuff that's just sitting around collecting dust and can make me some money, some extra cash, um, you know, for some upcoming trips. But anyway, that's, that's the plan for today, is I'm gonna go through and get all this stuff off the floor, kind of clean, put things away. I'm, I'm gonna try and figure out what I need for organization. Because like I said, I don't, have, I don't have a closet space in here. I've got one set of drawers for all my, my cables and stuff. I got another set of drawers that are just like literally random crap that I'm going to go through and get rid of. 
and then I've got all the, I got this down here, that's it. That's the only storage, storage I got. And there's a lot of crap that's just shoved in there when I moved the room and moved into this room that I just wanna get rid of. So that's the, that's the agenda today. And then long term, I wanna get the, the, move the G Fuel fridge out of cam off, off camera since I'm no longer partnered with them, but I still wanna use the fridge because it still works and I still wanna have beverages on the, on the go. The iMac is eventually gonna go away. I, it, it's on its last leg. It takes so long to do stuff on it now. I don't, I'm not gonna replace it. I've got two beefy PCs and my, iMac, my, my MacBook Pro. I don't need another iMac. So I'm trying to figure out what the plan, the game plan is for this room. Um, I've got some ideas that I wanna do with obviously streaming, but also vlogging and set up like a permanent camera for vlogging in here. Um, and then of course I got this awesome wall that we built and um, this wasted space over here with these plants. And I kinda wanna do more with the plants. I wanna put more plants in here, but also have them on camera. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm, I'm in this mode of like rearranging my room again. Hence why I don't do room tours because I'm never, I'm never satisfied with the room. So more on that later, but for now, we're cleaning. Jamaican. Dino chicken nuggets. Dino chicken nuggets. Cause he's a kid. All right, update. Printer's still on the floor until I move the fridge. The fridge, that'll go there once the fridge is moved. But everything else has been removed, cleaned up some cords, vacuumed, used the uh, magic box to cut the top off, and I'm using it for my Wicked Skull candles. I love these things. Link in the description below, code CLINTUS, with my buddies uh, Mike and Sterling's company. Uh, they started last year. Two years ago? I think they're coming up with two years now, actually. But anyway, uh, amazing smelling candles. Gamer, gamer inspired, gaming themed. Uh, it's fantastic. Look at this, Call of Duty candles. Like, they partner with Call of Duty. How freaking awesome is that? So yeah, anyway, so that's where that's going. Went through and cleaned up off the top shelf, got all rid of all the G Fuel. So those are like old coffee makers and a fondue set I think we got for our wedding. I think we, I don't think we've ever used it. <laughs> we've moved it three times and I don't think we've ever used it, but it's always like one of those like, maybe someday, but maybe now it's in the front, we'll use it. But a lot of extra storage, wasted space that was back behind the G Fuel. So now I'm kind of gonna, we're gonna use it, utilize that for more stuff. This is all the shaker cups and collector's boxes that I never opened. So I'm gonna kind of figure out which shaker cups I wanna keep because shaker cups are always good to have. Obviously the Clintus ones that I have and some of my favorites. And then the rest I'll probably sell on eBay or something. And then these are flavors that either I'm not crazy about or I, there's a better version of it somewhere else that I'll just give to my dad and take to his warehouse because those guys love the G Fuel. And then these are all the flavors that I do like and I will would like to drink, but obviously there's a lot of them here. Some of these stacks are 3D. So again, uh, just one of those things where like I still enjoy the product, just no longer partner with them. So got a lot of energy drinks to go through. Counter got a little cleanup and declutter. Got my coffee stuff kind of going on here. These are uh, old Adagio tea containers I found up, up top after I cleaned up the G Fuel. Uh, I used to do these with loose leaf teas, but I'm gonna use one for my coffee grounds now which means I can put this away and free up that space. We're going to try and transplant these uh, pepper plants into some pots and soil. They've been growing like crazy, but they're growing too big and that's like, they're not making any peppers, so we're getting ready to chuck it. So we'll transplant these and we'll probably chill on the air garden for a little bit, but not too long, because I love it. It's, uh, it's a little after three o'clock and I just realized I haven't eaten anything all day. Yeah, uh, I made an athletic greens and I had a cup of coffee this morning, but other than that, I haven't eaten anything, and my stomach just, it started to tell me like, hey, you gonna, you gonna feed me? You put something in here? Let's go. So, Tiff and I have a gift card to a restaurant, so we're gonna go over there for happy hour. Get some appetizers. We'll see what happens here. He's huge, man. He's bigger <laughs> than the plant that was in there before that it died. That thing's massive. This little guy. Got some, got some other pot. I got empty pots. I know one. Another one. Love it. I really hope these sprout. They Same. do something. I just tore up the roots. <clears throat> <gasps> oh, we had a pepper! Holy crap! You didn't think it would work! 
Maybe I took them out too soon. No, they were getting too big. I mean, that's the thing. We'd have to prune them back. Aww. But they do pollinate. We got one. Holy crap. <laughs> we should see better success outside with bees, for sure. But just it's a slow process. It's exciting. <laughs>